Good morning, Nikoi. Wake up, wake up. Boys, wake up. I got something I gotta tell you. What's up, Dykes kids? You guys awake this morning? Okay, well guess what? We've got a challenge for you today. Yes. Don't say yes or no until you know what it is. <laughs> Roswell, do you want to do the challenge? No. What? I don't want to do the challenge. What, Roswell? Get your butt over here. Today we have a really, really, really long drive through the middle of nowhere. So today's challenge is kids, Stuck in RV for 24 hours. That's gonna be easy. You think you can do it? Maybe. 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 William, do you think you can do it? Boo. You don't want to do it? No. Why? Because I want to go swimming. Oh, you want to go swimming? It is a hot summer day outside. Nikoi, you think you can handle it? Yep. Okay, Tayden, what about you, dude? Yeah, it's gonna be probably really easy. Oh yeah, you like the wow. RV that much? Well, we'll see if you like it after 24 hours. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, kids, what's the first thing we're doing this morning? We're eating some oranges. Wow. I'm watching our favorite movie, Big Fat Liar. I'm a fat liar. Fat liar. I'm a <laughs> That's fat the song that Roswell always sings when we hear the Imagine Dragons song, Bad Liar. He always says, I'm a fat liar. Sing it. Can you sing, sing it, it Rise? I'm a fat liar. I'm a fat, fat, fat liar. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Rise. <laughs> Seriously, this is like the one of their favorite movies. This old school Amanda Bynes and Frankie Muniz movie, Big Fat Liar. If you guys haven't seen it, it's hilarious. Anyway, I just wanted to check in. Dykes Kids has officially been the first two hours in the motor home. How's everybody feeling? Good. Yep, William, it's only been two hours. Good. How no. you feeling? Good. 22 to go. It feels like it went by very, very fast. Very fast, you're sure you can handle 22 more? Yeah. yeah. Tayden, you? Uh-huh. Rosie, yeah. are you up for the challenge? Yeah. Yeah, you're good now. Okay, what are the Dykes kids doing now? Coloring. Coloring. Tayden got this awesome Black Panther coloring book to come on this trip, Mom, right? Mom, Oh, who did you draw, Roz? Do you know who that guy is? That's Man Bat. He's a man bat. Is he so scary? Yeah, he's drawing him. You're drawing him? Oh, Nikoi, what are you drawing? I'm trying to test the colors because I'm going to draw um, a bunch of uh, rock candies. You know? Ooh. Nikoi not only eats lots of candy, she designs candy. I draw candy. <laughs> yeah, that's and William, what did you get, buddy? I got this. Oh, that's right. William picked out a new coloring book for this long trip. Mm -hmm. Transformers Jumbo Coloring and I Activity like Book. Okay, well, like have, have fun coloring. We'll see how long that keeps you guys occupied. Oh, yeah. I quit. I don't want to do this 24-hour thing anymore. <laughs> see you guys. Good luck. We'll see you in Utah. <laughs> we have not even left the RV park yet. <laughs> it takes like a couple hours just to get this big old beast all you, unhooked and packed up. You guys would be screwed without me. I'm just saying. Okay? <laughs> That's wow. right. Dad is you the better keep sole me. operator of this oh, wow. thing. You better keep me happy. <laughs> well, by happy, I hope you mean by being stuck in the RV for 24 hours. I don't mind it. <laughs> as long as I can stay awake, it's not a big deal. And you got your own comfy seat. That's right. Okay hey guys, let's get the heck out of here. We are currently in Carson City, Nevada, which is just from Lake Tahoe where we were yesterday. And now we are headed out across the Nevada desert, the middle of nowhere. Let's go. How come you're not up there watching for them? I told you to watch. 
We totally saw a wild Mustang. Oh, Isn't that awesome, William? Have yeah. you ever seen a wild horse? No. That just lives out in the wild. Let's Nobody watch owns this. it. Yes. Oh, my head. Hit her in the face. Okay, we resulted to dodgeball in the tiny bunk bed. This is the bunk bed. Top bunk. Little bunk. We're about four hours in to 24 hours in the motorhome, and we resulted in dodgeball. Right. Hayden is Roswell's horsey, huh? Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Here comes the ladies. Nam Nam watch out for horses crossing the road right here because there are so many wild horses. We've seen them just like walking around in people's yards. Apparently they're everywhere here. Dad? This is weird. Like we even saw a sign that said watch out for wild cows. Like no wild bulls. Like it has like a sign with horns on. Apparently horses run wild here and cows and bulls. This is kind of a crazy place. Hey. It's the Wild Wild West. That's true. Yeehaw! Welcome to the Wild Wild West, Jaden. Say yeehaw! Yeehaw! Hey, are you guys feeling hot back there? It's like 95 degrees outside. It feels like 195. It feels like 195. seen a wild bull. We're still watching for a wild bull to run across the street, but we haven't seen one. And I don't know if we've told you guys this, but our generator, something weird is going on with our electrical system, so we don't tear, turn on our generator to turn on our air conditioner. So it's a little hot in here when it's 95 degrees outside, right? So you can see Nikoi's hair blowing in the wind. All the kids are huddled up here. Only the air conditioning vents in the front. Dad's hogging them all. Work. I feel okay. <laughs> so if the kids need to cool down, poor things, they have to come up here and huddle by us and get some air conditioning, right? <laughs> William, you look like a doggy with his head out the window. <laughs> oh, you too. You two daddy and little dude doggies. Hair blowing in the wind. Having to be this hot makes it a little bit harder to stay in the RV all day, right? I'm actually getting a little sleepy too. Dad, don't you dare pull over. It gets too hot. Wake up. We still have like a seven hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, babe. Okay, this is Christina's dream house right here. And it says, Trip. No, you want to just buy that one? No, I don't really want to live in Nevada. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nikoi, what are you doing now? Uh, eating. Eating what? Fruit roll up. Hey, it's a good thing that we went to the grocery store yesterday and stocked up on snacks, right? Yeah. Because we gotta have tons of food to eat over the next 24 hours. Yep. Are you planning on eating anything but sugar today? <laughs> Maybe a burger or a hot dog. Oh, did you get one to cook yourself? Because we're not getting out of this thing. I don't know, Dad. Do you think you dare take this thing to the drive-thru? <laughs> this is how hot it is back there. This is how hot it is. William's melting. Kaden, did you have to take a break and come up here and get some air conditioning? Yeah, it's so hot. Are you it? you getting it? Yeah. Let's take your face in it. <laughs> Just bored. Just bored. Just bored. Mom, 
So you're gonna drown your boredom with some fruit roll-ups, huh, Will? Is that right? I'm hungry. You are hungry too? Well, we would watch a movie, but it's broken. <laughs> so yes, problem number two with the RV is that since we're having problems with our power, this whole side of the RV is not working. So the TV is not working unless we're plugged in because we don't have solar or the generator. So that means no movies for the full time that we're driving today, which sucks because they really help the time to go by. Right, Tayden? Is it hard not having that TV working? Yeah. Okay, drown your sorrows in apples and fruit roll-ups. did you get your snack? Yummy, Koi. So fast. I don't know if you guys can see, but on these salt flats, they people have made words out of rocks all along the side of the road. Like, look at how many people have stopped and taken the time to rock their name on there. Thanks for ruining our shot, truck. Too bad the bike fam can't get out of the RV or we go make our name, huh? No, that door's locked until we get to our final destination of the day. <laughs> William, what are you looking for? Antelope. <laughs> and the rest of the kids are playing Legos. One thing that can keep the Dykes kids occupied for hours is this giant bin of Lego guys. Lego heads, arms, legs, bodies, masks, helmets, weapons, right? Yep. Show me what you've built, McCoy. Built this purple motorcycle, and then I'm trying to find like a mask or a, um, a helmet to go over. Yeah. Oh, Rosie, who are you building? This guy, this guy's coinage. Oh. I'm gonna scratch you. Oh, don't you scratch me. Made it 
in 1897. It's super old and pretty cool. Wow. Moments later. Hey, we had to take a quick little break from driving. We found these really cool, weird-looking bugs all over the road. This one's dead, actually. Yeah. But what is that? It's a cricket. Oh. Don't touch that. What oh, is that? Yucky. That's weird. No, I don't know what that is. Is it like a locust or a cricket or a grasshopper? Never seen that before. There's a black one on the bush. It's a white. Right there. Seriously though, there's like hundreds of them. We ran over a whole bunch. It's a cricket. It's a cricket? Yeah. What is that thing? It is hideous. I don't know, but it's got like a big old stinger on it oh too. Oh my gosh. There's no one. Yeah, I'm Ooh, don't touch it! What? Don't touch it! <laughs> okay guys, look. I just picked this up with my pliers. But like, it's got like a huge stinger coming out of the back end of it. Oh, that is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like, look at it. Like, yeah, there, yeah. there we go. Dude, Wendy, we just saw an alive one running, and it's so creepy. They're like running like spiders, and then they just like jump like straight up and stick their stinger up. It's so creepy. Oh, my God. Rest in peace, little dude. Let's bury him. This thing is big. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but they're all over the, oh my heck, look Whoa! at all of them. Oh my gosh, dude, they're all over the room. That is just Four moments later. William, tell me how you're feeling. Bad. Why? Because. Because why? Because you have to drive two, how many? Two. 200 more miles. Yeah. Oh. Are you sick of driving? Sick of being in the RV. It's a hard day being in here all day, huh? Think you can make it, bro? No. We need to give up. Should we just leave you on the side of the road over here? Nah. You can live with the coyotes. Nah. Yeah. Okay, hang in there, buddy. Kate Ike's kids, how are you doing in the car? We still got about three more hours of driving. So 200 more hours? No, three hours. Okay. Does anybody know where we are right now? Where I know where we are. Where? In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You're right. In fact, the place that we, the road that we are on is called Highway 50, the loneliest road in America. Did you guys know that, William? That's a lot of nothingness out there, isn't it? Yep. Here it is, people. The loneliest road in America. Take a look at nothing. I'm so lonely on this road. <laughs> Whatever, the Dykes fam isn't even lonely because we have each other. Aww. Yeah, we should change the name of this road <laughs> to the Dykes fam is super happy road. <laughs> Or We're the happiest road in America because the Dykes fan is on a trudging. You guys aren't lonely, right? No. Because we got each other. each other. Oh, that's right, Tater. I think it's kind of pretty. Or at least until we run out of sugar. <laughs> right, Nikoi? Yeah. Nikoi would definitely be lonely without sugar, right? That's right, Dad. <laughs> okay, Dykes kids. I got us a special dinner for 24 hours in the RV. Because we're still driving, it makes it a little hard for me to cook. So we got something we don't have to cook. Wow. Enter the bridge. Dun, dun, dun. even excited about pizza lunchables for yeah, dinner. Even if he is. I, thought, Banana, I thought we were going to eat those Mormon crickets. Gross. Do not eat those. We found out that they're Mormon crickets, aka some kind of weird locust. European locusts. That's right. Okay, let's make our lunchables, people. Yeah. Make your pizza, Russ. Oh, this thing 
It's stacked. What? It's stacked with pepperonis. Delicious. Except he could really only fit one. Those are giant pepperonis. You know, right? We hit a few bugs on the way here. kids. You've been stuck in a motor home for many, many, many hours. But it's not over. We still have to sleep. <laughs> yeah. But we're more than halfway there. So once you go to bed and then wake up tomorrow, it'll be a full 24 hours stuck in this motor home. You think you can make it? Yeah. Okay, guys. I want you to know that most of these 24 hour videos are fake. This one is real. We really are spending 24 hours in our RV without leaving it. It's crazy. Yeah. Now, we did get out and stretch our legs for a minute. Yeah. But a literally, it was like a minute or two. And it's at night, so it's like... And we didn't even minutes. make it to our destination because know. it was such a long drive and it just took way longer driving in the RV. So we didn't. We were supposed to make it another hour tonight, but we yeah. didn't. But that's close, close enough. What you eating, Boba? Yeah, one more snack before bed. Yeah. So we can last. Kind of a healthy snack. <laughs> healthy ish. Like right? purple pears. Thanks yet again to our church for providing a parking lot for us to sleep in tonight. <laughs> the RV parks were full, the hotels were full. Yeah. We couldn't drive another hour in the dark. And so we just found I mean a parking lot. We I mean look at my hair, guys. I couldn't last another hour oh, driving. Great. Yeah. It's all falling out. We're tired of him being in the RV. Maybe we'll kick you out. Yeah. 
you can't do that. We're gonna sleep here at our church's parking lot tonight. Hopefully not get any disturbances in the middle of the night. Hopefully we don't get towed or ticketed. Some of the neighbors were staring at us though. So. Like there's neighbors right across the street there like looking out their windows at us. I'm yeah. like, oh. Sometimes you park in places you're not supposed to but you don't know that you shouldn't be there. So yeah. cross our fingers that the night scrum is going to get a good night's sleep and tomorrow we are going to be able to get out of this RV and not drive so much. Yeah, I'm crossing them all. Eat your snacks, it's getting bad. I'm already done. You're already done? Awesome, man. <laughs> it's time for bed now. Rosie, good night, buddy. Can you tell the Dykes fam good night? Good night. Say peace out, Dykes fam. Oh my God. <laughs> you trying to go to sleep up here? Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you tell the Dykes fam? Peace out. Good night. Go to sleep. Okay. Hey, my two older Dykes boys. You guys tired? Is this where you're sleeping tonight? Mm -hmm. On the couch bed? <laughs> it's been a long day, huh? Yeah. Really. When we wake up tomorrow though, you can get out of the RV and we can maybe go on a quick ad little adventure. Yeah. Does that sound good? Yep. Yeah. Nighty night, boys. Yeah. See you bright and early. The next morning. Good morning, Dykes kids. Morning. Guess what? You guys officially made it. 24 hours stuck in the RV. <laughs> Are you guys ready to get out of here? Let's go! <laughs> what do we tell these guys? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Dykes fam. We love you. Now get back in the RV. Let's go drive some more. Thank you.